Imagine being able to master a new skill twice as fast. Sounds impossible, right? But what if I told you there's a scientifically proven method that can make this a reality? It's called spaced repetition, a technique that's been around for centuries, yet only recently has its true potential been unlocked. But what is spaced repetition? Simply put, it's a learning technique that involves increasing intervals of time between subsequent reviews of previously learned material. It's not about cramming all your study into one session, but rather spreading it out over time. It's like watering a plant. You don't drown it in a deluge once and then ignore it. You water it little by little, day by day, and watch it grow. The science behind this method is as fascinating as it is effective. It's rooted in the spacing effect, a psychological phenomenon where our brain is more likely to recall information and concepts if they are studied a few times over a long period rather than repeatedly in a short period. It's a testament to the old adage that slow and steady wins the race. Now you might be wondering, how does this help with learning? Well, spaced repetition leverages the way our brains are wired to improve memory retention. It's like giving your brain a workout, but instead of building muscle, you're strengthening neural connections. The more you flex these connections, the stronger they become, and the faster you can recall information. It's about working smarter, not harder. So, are you ready to dive into the world of spaced repetition and unlock your full learning potential? Let's get a bit nerdy and talk about the science behind spaced repetition. To understand why spaced repetition works, we first need to understand something called the forgetting curve. The forgetting curve is a psychological theory first proposed by a gentleman named Herman Ebbinghaus. It represents how our memory of new information decays over time if we don't try to retain it. In essence, the curve shows that we tend to forget information quickly soon after learning it. But with each new repetition or review, our memory of the information improves and the rate of forgetting decreases. This is where our brain's wonderful ability to form memories comes into play. When we learn something new, our brain forms connections between neurons, creating a neural pathway. Each time we revisit and rehearse this information, these connections become stronger and more efficient. This process is called consolidation, and it's the secret sauce that makes spaced repetition so effective. In essence, spaced repetition works against forgetting by strategically timing reviews of information when we're on the verge of forgetting it. This means we're not just reviewing information for the sake of it, but we're actively strengthening our memory of it, making it more likely to stick in our long-term memory. But don't just take my word for it. Numerous scientific studies have put spaced repetition to the test, and the results are overwhelmingly positive. One study found that medical students who used spaced repetition outperformed those who didn't. Another study demonstrated that spaced repetition can even help Alzheimer's patients slow memory decline, by now, it should be clear why spaced repetition is a game changer in the realm of learning. But how do you actually implement it in your learning routine? Let's dive into the practical steps you can take to make spaced repetition a part of your daily learning regimen. Firstly, you'll want to structure your study sessions effectively. Instead of cramming all your learning into one long session, break it down into shorter, more manageable chunks. This is where the spacing in spaced repetition comes into play. You might study a topic for 20 minutes, take a five minute break, and then revisit the material again. This method allows your brain to process and consolidate the information more effectively. Secondly, flashcards are your new best friend. Traditional flashcards or digital ones, they both work wonders for spaced repetition. Write the question on one side and the answer on the other. Start with a small stack of flashcards and review them. Once you're comfortable with the material, add more cards to the stack. The key here is repetition and review making sure that the information truly sticks in your long-term memory. Digital apps can also be a fantastic tool for implementing spaced repetition. Apps like Anki or Quizlet use algorithms to determine the optimal time for you to review certain material. They take the guesswork out of deciding when to review what, making your learning more efficient and effective. Last but not least, adjusting the intervals for review is crucial. The idea is to increase the intervals between each review session gradually. You might review the material after one day, then three days, then a week, and so on. This strategy strengthens your memory and helps the information to really stick. Remember, spaced repetition is not a one-size-fits-all approach. You'll need to tweak and adjust these tips to suit your individual learning style and the material you're studying. But with patience and persistence, you'll get there. With these tips, you are well on your way to mastering new skills faster than ever before. Let's see how spaced repetition works in real-life learning scenarios. Picture this. 
You're an avid traveler, and you've always wanted to master the French language. You start by learning a few words and phrases, but they slip away before your next trip to Paris. Then, you discover spaced repetition. You start reviewing the words just before you're about to forget them, and voila! On your next trip, you're ordering croissants and chatting with locals like a pro, or consider Josh, a high school student, preparing for his final exams. Subjects like history, with a multitude of dates and events to remember, were a nightmare for him. After implementing spaced repetition, he started reviewing the material in increasing intervals, and the facts started sticking. He didn't just pass his exams, he aced them. Then there's Maria, a pianist struggling to perfect a complex piece. She'd practice for hours, but the melody just wouldn't stick. Then, she applied spaced repetition to her practice schedule, focusing intensely on small sections, then gradually increasing the intervals between practices. Soon, she was playing the piece flawlessly, without needing hours of non-stop practice. These aren't just isolated instances. Thousands of people are using spaced repetition to master new skills faster. From medical students cramming anatomy, to professionals learning new software, to athletes perfecting their technique, the applications are truly limitless. What's more, the beauty of spaced repetition is that it can be tailored to each individual's learning style and schedule. Whether you're a morning lark or a night owl, whether you prefer flashcards or apps, whether you have 15 minutes or an hour, you can make spaced repetition work for you. And remember, it's not about cramming as much information as possible. It's about smarter, more efficient learning. It's about understanding how our brains work and using that knowledge to our advantage. It's about making learning a lifelong, enjoyable process. These stories prove that with the right approach, anyone can harness the power of spaced repetition. Like any technique, spaced repetition isn't without its challenges. But don't worry, we've got you covered. First up, maintaining consistency. It's easy to start strong, but the real game is in keeping up with your routine. Remember, consistency is key. You may find it helpful to set a schedule or use a spaced repetition app to remind you when it's time to review. Next, dealing with large volumes of information can be overwhelming. The trick here is to break it down into smaller chunks. Think of it as serving a large pie. You wouldn't try to eat it all at once, right? You'd divide it into slices. The same applies to learning. Break down your study material into manageable parts and tackle them one by one. Then there's the feeling of overlearning, the point where you feel like you know the material inside out. It's easy to fall into the trap of thinking you no longer need to review, but this is precisely when spaced repetition works its magic. Just as a muscle needs regular exercise to stay in shape, your memory needs regular review to keep information fresh. Finally, let's talk motivation. It's normal to have highs and lows in your learning journey. When your motivation dips, remind yourself of your goals. Remember why you started in the first place. And don't forget to celebrate your progress, no matter how small. Every step you take is a step closer to mastery. And here's a bonus tip. Make your learning fun. Use flashcards, create mnemonics, or turn your review sessions into a game. When you enjoy the process, it doesn't feel like work. It's just a fun activity that, incidentally, makes you smarter. Remember, the journey of mastering a new skill is a marathon, not a sprint. With patience, persistence, and the power of spaced repetition, you can reach the finish line faster than you ever thought possible. Until next time, keep learning and keep growing.